안녕하세요 여러분, K-Water Bottle here, and welcome to the first episode of Korean Pronunciation. Just in case you missed the orientation video, don't forget to watch it. The card on the right top is the orientation video. If you did watch it, let's get to it. Today's episode is on consonant, or 자음. In Korean, there are 19 consonants. Now, the most important characteristic of consonant is that when you pronounce it, your air is obstructed while you exhale, whereas a vowel just lets you exhale freely. As you saw, you can't pronounce kyok on its own. Kyok is just the name of that consonant, not the pronunciation of that letter. So, from now on, we will pronounce consonants with the vowel u for convenience. Kyok is pronounced ku now. But K, you said yung is a consonant, but it does not obstruct any air. Like a i wu a o. Yeah, you're right, because yung in the first part of the block is not a consonant. It's there for just filling in a blank. In your case, the vowel a i u e o. When we're talking about pronouncing consonants, yung is the yung from the last part of the letter, like in kang. We will call that pronunciation by ng. Also, Korean consonants are very intuitive, at least compared to English. F sound in English can be indicated in different ways when you look at fire, photo, or cough. But in Korean, all the letters of consonants and the pronunciation of it makes a one-by-one -one match. This makes the classifying work so much easy, you'll see. Now this is the main event of this video. You need to know where in your mouth makes each pronunciation and we will learn each of them and classify them. First, the lips. P, 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 and M are pronounced only in the lips. Try them. P, 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 M. Second, the upper teeth. This means that your tip of the tongue touches or makes a small gap between the upper teeth when you pronounce them. T, 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 N, and D touches. S, S makes a little gap. Try them yourself and make sure it touches or makes a gap in your upper teeth. Third, the hard palate. The hard palate is placed a bit more inside than the upper teeth gum. We touch the hard palate with the body of the tongue when we pronounce t, t, and t. Try these two and make sure it touches the hard palate. Fourth, the soft palate. This one is placed more close to the throat compared to the hard palate. We kind of scratch this part with the root of your tongue when we pronounce k, g, k, and ng. Try to pronounce them yourself and make sure it touches the soft palate. And for last, your throat. When we pronounce h, nowhere in mouth does it block the air. The sound is made in your throat by trembling a bit. Try it and feel it yourself. These were the classification by where the air is getting blocked. Now, we can classify by how we block the air. Remember when I said on the upper teeth part? you would touch or could make a small path? 
Well, this is the elaboration of it. The first way is to close the air passage on somewhere and blow up the air. Try to pronounce these and feel the air gets trapped and blown up later. The second way is to make a little gap and let the air slide through, like we pronounce s and s. And we do both close the gap and let the air slide through by opening the gap, like when we pronounce t, t, t. For last, we can classify by how much air we exhale. We will label them as moderate air, least air, and most air. You can feel the difference easily by putting your hand or a tissue in front of your mouth. This set for example, ku is pronounced with moderate amount of air, while ku is pronounced with less air, and ku with more air. Ku, ku, ku. You don't actually need a tissue like me, you can just feel it on your hand. Try to pronounce these set. So I made a chart out of what we've just learned. I left out m, n, u, d on purpose because the nasal sound of m, n, u is quite different from nasal sounds of other languages, and l is different from the sound r makes. I'll explain it how to pronounce them in the next video. Now we can practice. The explaining part is over, so you can turn off and come back later to practice. Let's try close and blow up sounds first. Pronounce these letters and feel the amount of air you exhale on your hand. P, P, P. Also, here's another tip. Usually when we pronounce Korean, the pitch of the sound are different on how much air we exhale. The pitch is highest on the least air, lowest on the moderate air. I will pronounce these sentences, try to pronounce it afterwards and feel the amount of air and the pitch differs. 달을 보세요. 달을 보세요. 보세요. Now let's move on to making a gap and letting the air slide through. So, s and s are made in the upper teeth. That would mean our tongue will be close to our upper teeth but not touching it. Since they don't touch, pronunciations are somewhat obscure. The pronunciation differs a bit on what vowels they combine with. For instance, vowels like a, o is pronounced normally like sa, so. But when combined with u or u, the s sound changes a bit, something like swo pronounced very fast. You can verify by checking if your lips make a shape of O from the beginning. So, su. Also, you can feel that she and she has different S sound if you pronounce it really carefully. She, she. And again, the pitch rule applies here too. You would pronounce so in more pitched voice than so. Try to repeat me and feel the O vowel changing the regular S sound and the difference in pitch. 소금, 쏘다. Now, the obscureness applies to H too, but only when it's placed at the end of the block, not the first part. Like in Hanguk, H is pronounced just fine, but it disappears when we say 놓았다 gets combined with the next consonant when we say 놓다. I'll cover the pronunciation of 받침 흐 in the later episode. Now, finally, we have the close and make a gap afterwards part. This would mean when we pronounce them, our tongue touches the hard palate, and then our tip of the tongue slightly opens to make the sounds. Repeat after me these sentences and try to feel this as well as the amount of air and the pitch difference. 
종을 주세요. 총을 주세요. 수고하셨습니다.